God has the power even to speak to your life and to remove that which you're going through today. But there is something that is speaking to us today that roll away the stone. There is a stone that is hindering you from hearing the voice of God. Roll it away. When you roll it away, you are able to hear the voice of God. And when you hear the voice of God, you will be able to resurrect to life again. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. And I'm accepted. You were condemned. And I'm alive and well. Your spirit is within me because you died. kukaribisha kwenye ibada ya siku ya leo ungana pamoja nasi tunapomwabudu bwana na kumwambia kwamba we surrender all to you our savior our redeemer our deliverer join us as we worship the lord just tell him i surrender my love to you my ambitions my hopes my plans everything my heart desire na zitoa zote kwako bwana in jesus name hallelujah i surrender all to you Not do without you, Lord. I need you in my life, Lord. I surrender, I surrender to you. Oh, 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 oh. I need you, Jesus. I need
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before the Holy Presence. We want to thank you for this opportunity you have given us in to, be in, to be in your house, to be able to connect with you, my Father. Your word says that wherever two or three are gathered in your name, that you are there in their minutes. We know that you are here with us. You are going to minister to us, O oh God. Be it unto us, Lord, according to your word. In Jesus' name, we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome you this morning. Uh, this Nairobi Christian Center. Healing Kanisala Nairobi Christian Center. Uh, located in Bahati. Bahati. A place whereby everybody is somebody in the presence of the Lord. A place where we, we, we believe in the word of the Lord. Let me take this opportunity to let you know that we have four services. Our first service starts from eight. Ibada ya kwanza inaanza saa 2 hadi saa 3. That's the first service. Hiyo ndio ibada ya kwanza. Second service from 9:30 to 10:30. Kutoka saa 3:30 na nusu hadi saa 4:30 na nusu. The third service ibada ya 3 from uh, 11 
kutoka saa tano to 12 hadi saa sita and the fourth service na ibada ya nne from 12:30 kutoka saa sita na nusu hadi saa saba na nusu we thank God that we have uh, been able to follow all the instructions of the of the medics na shukuru Mungu kwa kuwa tumefuata maagizo yote ya wale I can boldly say that we are safe in church. Naweza sema tuko salama ndakani sana. So when you have an opportunity, kwa hivyo ukiwa na nafasi, you are most welcome. Unakaribishwa. So today I want us to look at the word of the Lord. Leo nataka tuangalie neno la Mungu. We are going to go into the book of Hebrews. Tutaangalia kitabu cha Waebrania. We are going to look at the journey of faith. Tutaangalia safari ya imani. Today I want to speak about stepping out in faith. Leo nataka nizungumzie kusimama kwa imani. We are living at a time that men and women of God need to step out in faith. Tunaishi wakati wa hali ndugu na dada wa Mungu wanafaa kusimama kwa imani. For we know that God is on our side. Kwa sababu tunajua Mungu yuko upande wetu. Hebrews chapter number 11 kitabu cha Hebrews chapter 11 ule mstari wa kwanza Bible says now faith is a substance of things are uh, hopeful the evidence of things which are not seen by faith uh, it the elders obtained a good testimony verse number 3 by faith we understand that the world was framed by the word of god so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which are visible verse number 6 But without faith it is impossible to please God for he who comes to God must believe that he is and he that he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him uh, God rewards those who diligently seek him Mungu ana wazawadi wale wanamtafuta those who men and women who have faith in in him wale ndugu na dada ambao wako na imani ndani yake so we have seen that the bible says that without faith it is impossible to please god tunaona biblia ikisema kwa bila imani ni gumu kumpendeza and we want to be men and women who are who are god pleasers tunataka kuwa ndugu na dada wanaompendeza mungu so faith requires a lot of uh, courage imani inataka ujasiri mwingi sana it needs a uh, 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 men and women who are going to step out with uh, a lot of strength in believing and trusting in god inahitaji ndugu na dada ambao watasimama na imani ya kumwamini mungu and these uh, this journey or walk of faith hii safari ya, ya imani uh, it reminds me of the journey of the children of israel inanikumbusha safari ya wana wa israel that for many years ya kuwa kwa miaka mengi they cried out to god walimlelia mungu when they were living a life of slavery in egypt wakati walikuwa wanaishi maisha ya utumwa misri when they didn't have a hope or a future wakati walikuwa hawana nyumbani ama when they have reached their dead end wakati walikuwa wamefika mwisho when there was uh, humanly speaking there was no way out for them kwa mazungumzo ya kibinadamu hakukuwa na njia but God our God is a God who makes a way wherever seems to be no way. Lakini Mungu wetu ni Mungu anayefanya njia pasipo njia. So we see the beauty of this story in the Exodus chapter number 14. Tunaona uzuri wa hii hadi kitabu cha kutoka. And we see that the children of Israel they have God has already delivered them from the land of a, of a, of slavery. Tunaona Mungu washawaokoa kutoka nje ya utumwa. And uh, although the journey uh, to the promised land was a journey that could have taken a, a week licha kuwa safari ya kwenda nchi ya hadi ni safari ingechukua wiki moja but god decides to take them through a longer route lakini mungu anachukua uamuzi wa kuwapeleka nchi ya ndefu in life there is no shortcut katika maisha hakuna njia ya mkato the best thing about life is to follow god's instruction kitu kuzuri kuhusu maisha ni kumfuata maagizo ya mungu at times it may be painful wakati huenda ni mchungu at times it may be hurting wengine huenda na umiza but when all is said and done lakini baada ya yote yamesemekana you are going to reach your destiny So we see the beauty of the the journey of the children of Israel. Tunaona uzuri wa safari ya wana wa Israel. And we meet them when they are in the wilderness. Na tunakutana nao wakiwa nyikani. We meet them even before they have crossed the Red Sea. Tunakutana nao hata kabla waruke bahari ya Shamu. We meet them when the Pharaoh and the Egyptians are coming after them. Tunakutana nao wakati Farao anawafuata. Pharaoh realized that he had made a mistake. Farao aligundua alifanya makosa. By releasing the children of Israel. Kwa kuachilia wana wa Israeli. He he realized that he did not have people who are going to serve him aligundua kuwa hakuwa na watu wa kumtumikia so he followed them to capture them again kwa hivyo aliwafuata ili awashike tena so we are meeting them at point when they are in their dead end tunakutana nao mahali wamefika mwisho when there is no way out mahali hakuna njia zaidi when they feel like they have reached their end mahali wanaishi kuwa wamefika mwisho but our god is a god who makes a way wherever seems to be no way lakini mungu wetu ni mungu anayefanya njia pasipo na njia we see how they were trapped from all 
all sides. Tunaona jinsi walikuwa wamefungiwa pande zote. Red seas ahead of them. Bari ya Sham iko mbele yao. And their enemies are coming after them. Na maadui zao wako nyuma wanakuja. We feel like we are in that moment today. Tunaisi tuko katika wakati huo leo. Being trapped by sicknesses. Tukiwa tumefungiwa na magonjwa. Being trapped by corona. Tukiwa tumefungiwa na corona. Where our kids are not going to school. Mali watoto hawaendi shule. Where most of us have been advised not to go to churches. Mali wengi wameambiwa wasiende kanisani. Where we have been advised that we we need to social distance. Mali tumeambiwa tukae mbali na wenzetu. And our culture is a culture of uh, socializing. Na tamaduni zetu ni tamaduni za kukongamana. It's a culture of living together. Ni tamaduni ya kuishi pamoja. Ah uh, we have been advised Tumeambiwa. that we need to wear a mask all the time ya kwa inatupasa tuvae barakoa something that we were not used to kitu ambacho hatukwa tumefanya many are people who have found themselves trapped in a situation where there are there are no jobs wengi wamejikuta wamefungiwa hawana kazi uh, our businesses have gone down kazi zimedhoofika being trapped on all sides like the children of israel kufungiwa pande zote kama wana wa israel by i see the beauty of believing and trusting god stepping out in faith ninaona uzuri wa kumwamini Mungu kusimama kwa imani step out in faith na kwa tukisimama kwa imani i see how moses stepped out in faith ninaona jinsi Musa alisimama kwa imani and god paved the way for the children of israel na Mungu akafanya njia kwa wana wa israeli he is the same god that we are believing and trusting today yeye ndiye Mungu sawa tunayemwamini leo when we step out in faith na kwa tukisimama kwa imani the way he made a way for the children of israel in the red sea through the red sea jinsi alivyofanya njia kwa wana wa israeli It is the same way God is going to make a way for us today. Hivyo hivyo atafanya njia kwetu leo. It doesn't matter the effect or the magnitude of the situation that is there. Haijalishi yale mambo yanafanyika leo. I know that our God. Najua kuwa Mungu wetu. He is well able to make a way for us. Ana uwezo wa kufanya njia. So I want to speak about stepping out in faith. Nataka nizungumzie kusimama kwa imani. Stepping out in faith even without knowing where you're going. Kusimama kwa imani bila kujua unakoenda. Stepping out in faith without questioning God. Kusimama kwa imani bila kumuuliza Mungu maswali. Knowing that Jehovah is the one who is leading you. Ni kujua kuwa Mungu ndiye anaongoza. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs. Kitabu kinasema methali. We see the beauty of the words of wisdom. Tunaona uzuri wa maneno ya hekima. The trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Ni kuwa muamini Mungu na sio mawazo yako. If we lean on our own understanding we are going to fail. Tukitegemea mawazo yetu tutaanguka. If we lean on our own understanding we are going to be destroyed. Tukitegemea mawazo yetu tutaharibiwa. If we lean on our own understanding we are not going to head anywhere. Tukitegemea mawazo yetu hatutaenda mahali. But you see the beauty of the word of God. Tunaona uzuri wa neno la Mungu. The trust in the Lord kwa muamini Mungu lean not on your own understanding usitegemee mawazo yako and in all that you do na kila kitu unafanya acknowledge him ukubali Mungu and he's going to make your path straight na atafanya njia zako zinyoke you want your path to be made straight je unataka njia zako zinyoke i know of someone who is has the ability to make every path straight ninajua mwenye uwezo it doesn't matter how crooked it is haijalishi imezungukwa vipi it doesn't matter how difficult it has been haijalishi imekuwa ngumu vipi there is the one who has the ability There is the one who has the strength to make the path of our life straight. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I see the beauty of today trusting stepping out in faith and trusting God. Ninaona uzuri wa kusimama kwa imani na kumwamini Mungu. No matter what is happening. Haijalishi nini inafanyika. Or no matter what the devil has thrown on our way. Haijalishi shadui amesababisha nini. That we can be able to trust God. Lakini tuna uwezo wa kumwamini Mungu. We can be able to believe in God. Tuna uwezo wa kumuita Mungu. We see the beauty of walking by faith and not by sight. Tunaona uzuri wa kutembea kwa kwa imani na sio kuona There are many things there are many experiences that we have gone through Kuna matukio mengi tumepitia And it's humanly speaking it's, uh, it's it's easy for us to walk by sight Na kwa kwa kibinadamu ni rahisi kutembea kwa it's macho It's easy to, uh, for us to look at what is happening Ni rahisi kuona yanayofanyika But God is calling us to another level Lakini Mungu anatuita kwa ngazi nyingine Of uh, not looking at what is happening Ngazi ya si kuangalia yale yanayofanyika Closing our eyes to what is happening Kufunga macho kwa yale yanayofanyika Looking unto him who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Kumwangalia yeye ambaye ni mwanzo na mwisho wa imani. This is a work of faith. Hii ndio safari ya imani. The work of faith is a work of obedience. Safari ya imani ni safari ya kutii. 
It is a walk of launching out without knowing where you are going. Knowing that there is the one who is leading you. So we come to a point of looking at the beauty uh, of the story that is there in the book of Genesis chapter number 12. And we see the call of God when God called Abraham and he told Abraham I want you to get out of your people. I want you to step out in faith. It doesn't matter how you are today. It doesn't matter where you are today. It doesn't matter what you have or what you don't have. It doesn't matter who is on your side or who is not on your side. Abraham, I want you to make a step of faith. Step out in faith. And God gives Abraham a promise that I'm going to give you the land of the promise that Abraham you're going to become a father of a great nation following God even in hard times in times when you don't know where you're going you know at times when uh, following God you, you look like a fool there are times when we have been called fanatics. Because you are following without knowing where God is leading you. But you know the one who has called you. He has given you a promise. And God never fails. Our God is always faithful. So we see Abraham. Uh, clinging to the promise of God. Clinging to that promise. Knowing the one who has promised. He is faithful. And we see that for a hundred years. Abraham and the wife Sarah. Ibrahim na mkewe Sarah. They stayed for a long time without having children. Walika muda mrefu bila watoto. They stayed in a state of barrenness. Walika katika hali ya utasa. But they cling to God's promise. Lakini walishikilia ahadi ya Mungu. They cling to God's promise. Walishikilia ahadi ya Mungu. Knowing that one day. Wakijua siku moja. They are going to become the father and the, uh, the parents of a great nation. Ya kuwa watakuwa wazazi wa taifa kuu. So we see the beauty of following God. Tunaona uzuri wa kumfuata Mungu. Even when it appears like we are fools. Hata wakati inaonekana kama si ni We see another story that uh, Joseph when he's beginning. Tunaona hadithi ya Yusuf akianza. In Genesis chapter number 37 to verse uh, chapter number 50. Kitabu cha mwanzo 37. We we see we see the uh, the beauty of following God even when you appear it appears like you are you are a fool. Tunaona uzuri wa kumfuata Mungu hata wakati inaonekana when it appears like you are not heading anywhere, God gives Joseph a dream. And it's normal for everyone to dream. So there is nothing unique about dreams. What is unique about, or uh, particular about this dream is the fact that it was a dream that had come from God. The fact that it was a revelation that was from God. The fact that it's something that God had planted in the heart of Joseph. It is what that made a difference in this dream. So we see Joseph when he's beginning when he's sharing his dream to many people uh, many people are looking at him with the eyes like uh, this guy is, uh, is getting mad. Well, uh, this guy appears or seems like a fool. How on earth can this kind of a dream be fulfilled? And this dream takes Joseph into the pit. He's Na, thrown into the pit. He's thrown or taken away from home. Ana, He's thrown into Potiphar's house. He's thrown into prison. But what he knew is that there was the one who had promised. He's the one who has promised. He's the God who fulfilled dreams. I want to say no matter how people look at you, you don't need to shelf your dream. You need to uh, step out boldly 
boldly in faith in God. Unafaa usimame kwa ujasiri kwa Mungu. And if you have shelved your dream. Na kama umesimama na ndoto yako. I want to declare to you. Nataka nitangaze leo. Go pick that dream. Ya kuwa hiyo ndoto. We need to step out in faith tusimame, believing God. Tusimame kwa imani. Our God is a faithful God. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu. Our God is a God who fulfills. Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa kutimiza. Every dream that he has revealed in our lives. Kila ambao amefunua kwetu. I believe no matter what you are going through. Naamini haijalishi nini unapitia leo. Take it, pick it. Chukua. God is going to fulfill it. Mungu atatimiza. Whether the situation is tough. Hata kama hali ni ngumu. Our God is a God of the impossible. Mungu wetu ni Mungu ya Mungu asiyewezekana. He makes the impossible to be possible. Anafanya asiyewezekana yawezekane. I look at another story in the book of 1 Samuel. Ninaangalia historia nyingine kitabu cha Samuel wa kwanza. I see the beauty of a, a man who is stepping out by faith. Tunaona uzuri wa mtu ambaye alisimama kwa imani. We meet a young man at the age of 17 years. Tunakutana na kijana mwingine mwenye miaka ya 17. A young man by the name of David. Kijana anaitwa Daudi. A young man who comes from the bush. Kijana ambaye anatoka porini. Without knowing where he's going. Bila kujua anakoenda. A young man who uh, who meets a giant. Kijana mdogo ambaye anakutana na jitu. A young man who is willing to face a giant. Kijana mdogo mwenye ujasiri wa kukutana na jitu. A young man of faith. Kijana wa imani. And we see when David is beginning. Tunaona wakati Daudi anaanza. He was only 17 years. Alikuwa miaka 17. He had no military experience. Hakuwa na ujuzi wa kijeshi. Uh, he it looked like uh, he was a fool when he was challenging Goliath. Ilionekana kama yeye ni mjinga alipomwambia yule Goliath. It looked like like he was not going to succeed. Alionekana kama hatafaulu. This young boy. Huyu kijana mdogo. All that he knew is uh, looking after the sheep of his father. Kile ambacho alijua ni kuangalia kondoo. Many people looked at him. Watu wengi walimwangalia. And they saw a fool. Na wakaona mjinga. But then God. Lakini shukuru Mungu. He was a man of faith. Alikuwa ndugu wa imani. We see that in the valley of Ela. Tunaona katika ile that David proclaimed God's victory even before he fought Goliath. Ya kuwa Daudi alikiri ushindi wa Mungu. David began by speaking faith. Daudi alianza kwa kunena imani. When we become men and women of speaking faith. Tukiwa ndugu na dada wa kunena imani. Even when the situation is not conducive. Hata wakati hali hairuhusu. Hallelujah. Even when things are working contrarily. Hata wakati vitu vinafanya kazi. David spoke faith. Daudi alinena imani. He believed in a God who is able. Alimwamini Mungu aliyeweza. He has seen God. Alikuwa amemwona Mungu. Delivering him. Akimwona from the jaws of a lion from the jaws of bear and he is the same god that we serve today so it doesn't matter what kind of a situation you are going through it doesn't matter what kind of experience you are going through our god is a miracle working god step out in faith and god is going to meet with you god is going to strengthen you atakutia nguvu the beauty of stepping out in faith na uzuri wa kusimama kwa imani we meet another man tunakutana na ndugu mwingine by the name of noah kwa jina la nuhu that noah when he began building the ark wakati nuhu alianza kujenga safina it had safina. never rained before haikuwa kumejenesha and he was telling many people na alikuwa anawaambia watu that wengi come join njooni let's build the ark tujenge safina watu uh, wengi wanalidhania huyu mjinga anaenda wapi huyu mjinga haijai nyesha hapo 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 mbeleni hakujai onekana wakati ambapo kumenyesha huyu mtu ni kama ameruka kichwa lakini noa alijua mungu ambaye amemnenea ni mungu ambaye anaona leo kesho na hata na hata kesho yetu ni mungu ambaye anaona mahali ambao wengine hawaoni kwa hivyo wengi wanapoona wanaona ujinga wa noa lakini noa alijua kunae Mungu aliye mbinguni. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we could see tungeona that Noah ya kuwa nuhu although he was called a fool licha ya kuwa aliitwa mjinga but when all is said and done ya kuwa baada ya mesemekana yote the rain came mvua ilikuja and for 40 days na kwa siku 40 it rained nonstop kulinyesha bila kuacha and all those who were seeing him as a fool wote waliomuona kama mjinga they were destroyed walikuwa wameharibika but the family of noah lakini jamii ya nuhu the family of noah jamii ya nuhu it was secure ilikuwa imekosa salama why kwa nini noah 
followed God's instruction. Nuhu alifuata maagizo ya Mungu. We see the beauty of stepping out in faith. Tunaona uzuri wa kusimama kwa imani. This brings us to the story. Hii inatuletea kwa hadithi. Of Joshua in the Bible. Ya Yoshua. And we see Joshua. Tunaona Yoshua. That God spoke to speaks to Joshua. Mungu ananena na Yoshua. And tells Joshua. Na anamwambia Yoshua. That you are going to conquer Jericho. Ya kuwa tena kushinda Jericho. And Jericho was a town that had fortified uh, walls. Na Jericho ilikuwa ni mji mwenye ukuta mkuu. So uh, God instructed uh, Joshua, Mungu anamwambia Yoshua to go around the wall of Jericho. Zunguka ndani ya nje ya ukuta. And for seven days. Na kwa siku saba. And seven the seventh day. Na ile siku ya saba. They were supposed to go around the wall of Jericho seven times. Walipasa wazunguke ile ukuta kwa siku mara saba. And we see when Joshua is beginning when they are beginning to surround the wall of Jericho. Tunaona wakati Yoshua anaanza kuzunguka ile ukuta. And it is a fortified wall. Na ilikuwa ni ukuta mkubwa. Many people looked at them as fools. Watu wengi waliwaona kama wajinga. It has never happened. Haikuwa imefanyika. How on earth can you go round a wall? Je, mngezungukaje ukuta? And the wall comes down. Na huo ukuta uanguke. Hii ni ujinga ya hali ya juu. Haijai patikana tena, haijai onekana tena. Ha watu bwana. Ni kama watu ambao wanahitaji kuwa madhare. But you see the beauty of trusting God. Again tunaona uzuri wa kumwamini Mungu. No, the first day we see them going round through the wall of Jericho. Tunaona wanazunguka ule ukuta. We see them marching through the wall of Jericho. Wanazunguka ukuta wa Jericho. Marching through the wall of Jericho. Wakizunguka huo ukuta. Knowing that there is a God who has instructed we may look like fools. We may look like we are not heading anywhere. We may look like nothing is going to happen. But there is a God who has instructed. So they went through the, the wall of Jericho. The first day. They marched through the wall of Jericho. The second day. The third day. The fourth day. The fifth day. The sixth day. The seventh day. Hallelujah. Amen. And this one they were supposed to go round through seven times. And people were looking at them. Calling them all names. Calling them fools. Wanaambiwa hawa ni watu ambao wamechizi. Hawa ni watu ambao wametupa mbao. Hawa ni watu ambao hawana mwelekeo. But they knew the God who has instructed them. And the seventh time. The wall that looked fortified. It came down. And God gave Joshua victory. Na mungu wakampa Joshua ushindi. So it doesn't matter how people look at you. Haijalishi watu wanakuona haja. It doesn't matter what they have names they have nicknamed you. Haijalishi yale majina wamekupea. It doesn't matter what is happening in your life. Haijalishi nini imefanyika maishani mwako. If God if God has instructed you. Kama Mungu amekuambia. Follow God's instruction. Fuata maagizo ya Mungu. We see the beauty of getting out in faith tunaona uzuri wa kusimama kwa imani stepping out in faith kusimama kwa imani we see another man who steps out in faith tunaona ndugu mwingine anayesimama kwa imani paulo anasema he appears to the children of israel anawatokea in the wilderness katika nyika and he speaks to the children of israel anawaambia and he tells them anawaambia wana israel when there was a shortage of food kulikuwa na ukosefu wa chakula he tells them that god is was going to give them manna from heaven yakuwa mungu angewapa chakula kutoka mbinguni god was going to feed them mungu with meat mungu from heaven kutoka chakula cha mbinguni heavenly providence chakula kinachotoka mbinguni and by the way at times when we are speaking faith we have no idea what is going to happen wakati mwingine tunanena imani bila kujua kinachofanyika the only thing we know kile kitu tunajua is there is a god who backs his word ni kuwa kuna mungu ambaye anafanya njia moses had no idea musa hakuwa na ujuzi where that manna was going to come from mali hiyo manna ilikuwa inatoka moses had no idea musa hakuwa na jua how it was going to happen ingefanyika vipi the only thing he knew kile kitu alijua that there was a god who was with them in the past kulikuwa na mungu ambaye alikuwa nao was a god who had done miracles kuna mungu ambaye alitenda miujiza and is the same god that was with them na ni mungu sawa ambaye alikuwa nao so the ye. only thing we know today kile kitu ambacho tunajua leo that of what we are going through kile kitu ambacho tunajua we tunajua have a god who has been with us tuko na mungu ambaye alikuwa nao we have a god who has fought our battles tumekuwa na mungu ambaye amepigana vipi we did not die in the past so, uh, 
are not going to die today if we did not die in the past it shows that God has a plan for our lives it shows that there is a destination that God is leading us so Moses had no idea the only thing he knew is that God was there with them we have no idea how things are going to change what you are going through we have no idea of how God is going to deal with our situation but we know that our God our God Jehovah is a God of the impossibilities he's a God who does mighty things so we see the beauty of trusting God as stepping out in faith that uh, God provided for the children of Israel in the they were fed with manna that every day when they woke up manna was raining from heaven there was a providence for that day there was a miracle for that day and they were, they were not supposed to, uh, to, to, to extend it for the, to the following day so the providence was for that day our God is a God who provides for his people so you don't have to fear there is a providence for each and every each and every day what made these men succeed is they are stepping out in faith stepping out in faith and not in sight stepping out even when the situation is not conducive stepping out even when the environment is not good stepping out even when things are not working out stepping out even when people are calling you a fool stepping out even when people are laughing at you stepping out even when you don't have anything stepping out even when you don't have any money or a job stepping out when even when things are tough now these men were willing to step out they were willing to risk their life stepping out in faith these men succeeded I want to see I want to say that the beauty of stepping out in faith on a daily basis they were able to hear God on a daily basis men who steps out in faith are men who have a personal relationship with God they have heard from God on a daily basis there are men and women who connect with God on a daily basis and they are able to hear and identify the voice of God on a daily basis men who step out by faith are men who are motivated by God's word are men who are motivated by God's promises. What is destroying many people today is a lack of motivation. Our motivation comes from the word of God. Live by this word and you are going to succeed. Follow God's instruction and you are going to succeed. Many who have been destroyed today are people who don't have something to look forward to. But the word of God has given us a promise. We have something to look forward to. We have something that can drive us forward. We have the promise of God. No matter what the situation. No matter what the circumstance. What made them succeed is the fact that they challenged their thoughts. They had rational thoughts. 
they believed and trusted God. They disallow their thoughts to influence them. Many people are destroyed when we allow our thoughts to influence us. When we allow the irrational thoughts of the past to influence us. When we allow the past uh, experiences to influence us. Or dictate our today. Or dictate our future. We have to disallow every past experience. We have to disconnect ourselves with every past experience. So that we can step out by faith. We have to disallow every fear. That the enemy brings on our way. The Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear. But a spirit of boldness and a sound mind that we have to step out in boldness, courageously, trusting and believing God. We have to disallow our lives to be influenced, influenced by lack of faith. We need to be men and women who have faith in God. Looking unto him who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Looking unto him who is the God who does the impossible that that which is impossible with man it is possible with God. I want to bring to you this God of the impossibilities. This God who is never limited. This God who is never affected by any situation or circumstance. This God who is above seasons and timing. This God who is all powerful. This is a God I want to present to you today. This is a God that has been with us in the past. This is the God that is with us here today. No matter what the pandemic is. No matter how the situation is. I declare in the name of Jesus that the corona is not going going to dictate our, our, our present. It is not going to dictate our future. Our future is in the hands of God. We disallow every infirmity. We disallow any pandemic to dictate our future. Our future is safe in the hands of God. We are going to step out by faith believing and trusting God. If they succeeded in the past when they stepped out by faith even as we are going to succeed you are going to succeed in Jesus name. God is on our side and when, when God is on our side who can be against us? God is on our side. God is fighting the battle for us. This season is going to be the greatest season in our lives. That which we have never done before. Levels we have never reached before. I declare in the name of Jesus that this season we are going to reach. This season there are great doors that are going to open. This season God is going to do things that we have never thought or imagined. And that's the God that we serve. That's the God that is with us today. All that we need is to step out in faith. May God strengthen your feet as you step out in faith. May God strengthen your heart as you step out in faith. That as we step out in 
faith that God is going to meet with us. I want to declare in the name of Jesus the God who met Abraham when he stepped out by faith and he blessed his life. May this God bless your life. May the God who intervened in the family of Noah and he rescued the family of Noah from a destruction that which was destroying other people. May this God, may this God Jehovah, may he rescue your life. May he rescue your family. May he rescue your, your job. May he rescue your, your, your business. That God is going to intervene on your, 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 your side. The God who came through for the children of Israel in the wilderness and provided for them a heavenly providence each and every day that there was a heavenly providence. There was manna from heaven. There was meat from heaven. And God fed them May this God feed you th during this season. May there be a daily providence that every time you wake up that you will see a divine godly providence may God come through for you and your family that you will never lack. May you never lack in your life. In Jesus name. This is the God that I'm bringing to you. The God who tells us to step out by faith and, and is going to meet with us. Maybe you are there. You have never given your life to God. You don't have a relationship with God. He's waiting for you to make this step of faith. Step out in faith. It doesn't matter what you have done. Our God is a God who forgives. He's a God who begins with us. He's waiting for you so that he can begin a new journey with you. I want to pray with you. If you want to begin a new journey with God, he's willing He's waiting for you. Make a step of faith. Stand up wherever you are. I want to make a prayer with you. Simple prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you all those who have stood up. Father, wanting to begin a new journey, a journey of faith, a walk of faith with you. Lord, I commit them before you. Father, dear Heavenly Father, may you begin with them. Give them a new beginning. Father, whatever they have done in the past, that they passed, O King of Glory. And you have thrown their past into the sea of forgetfulness, O King of Glory. I want to pray that, Abba, Father, as they begin a new journey, may your grace be sufficient, O God. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. You are sick in your body. When I'm going to... Uh, I want you to make a step of faith. I want you to believe God. Our God is a miracle working God. No matter what the sickness, no matter what the infirmity, even that which the doctors have said it is incurable, there is no term like incurable in the, in the presence of God. Every infirmity, God is able to heal. I want you to believe God wherever you are. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to speak a prayer of faith. Lord, every infirmity, we break the spirit of every infirmity, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We want to pray for all those who are sick, no matter what the sickness. You have given us a name that is above every other name. That in the mentioning of the name of Jesus, cancer, HIV, Diabetes, high blood pressure, even Corona, Jehovah, your name is above every other name. Let every name that men have given, every infirmity, Lord, Father, heal your people, my God. Let them disappear in the name of Jesus. I speak your word, O King of Glory. Meet with your people and minister to them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. May all the glory and honor come back unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you. Let us be men and women of faith. 
men and women who walks by faith and not by sight. And I know that without faith, the word of God has said, we cannot be able to please God. So we have to be men and women who walks in faith so that we can be able to please God. May God love you. May God bless you. May God see you through in all your endeavors in life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want to take this opportunity also. I say we can also take another step of faith. Stepping out in faith in giving. You will never become poor because of giving to God. In fact, every moment we give to God, we secure that which God has given to us. So all that we have is what God has given us. So we want to present to God our tithe and our offering. For we know that it is God who has blessed us. And what he has uh, instructed us in his word, which we need to follow God's instruction, is that 10% of what we earn belongs to God. And I want to say, your tithe is supposed to be given into a place where you have chosen that place to be your church. That place you have chosen that that's where you're going to be meeting with God. Where you are fed spiritually. That's where you take your time. If you are not a member of Nairobi Christian Center, you are not supposed to give your tithe through Nairobi Christian Center. You are supposed to give your tithe where you go to church. So I want to encourage you, let us be faithful in our tithing. That God is going to bless us. So 10% belongs to God. And also we have other kinds of offering. Uh, that's giving that we can give to God. Thank God with him we are grateful. And also normal offering that we can give to God. So whatever offering that you are giving today, I want us to present it before God. And may our offering be acceptable before God. I want you to stand up wherever you are with your offering or your tithe. I want to make a prayer. Baba katika jina la Yesu, ji Mungu mwenye nguvu uwezo na mamlaka, wewe unaye bariki kazi za mikono yetu baba, ninatamka baraka zako katika maisha watu wako Bwana. Yehova wewe ambaye umetupa ahadi zako katika neno lako Bwana. Umetuambia zaka na sadaka ni zako Bwana. Tunapozitoa kwako Yehova, Yehova unafungua milango na madirisha ya mbinguni. Chochote watu wako wataguza kutenda kikabarikiwa na wewe Bwana. Bariki kazi za mikono yako Bwana. Baba neema yako na kibali chako kikawa juu ya maisha yao. Baba wakabarikiwa wanapoingia wakabarikiwa wanapotoka Bwana. Ukawaangazie na jua la neema Bwana. Jehova, nime, nimetamka baraka za Mungu juu ya maisha yao na ulinzi wa Mungu juu ya maisha yao Bwana. Secure all that they have o King of Glory. In Jesus name we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. May God see you through. As we give unto God, we are going to receive a special number. May uh, God see, give you a great week. May he see you through this week. And I'm looking forward to see you another day next Sunday. And now we have uh, opened up the church. Uh, we, are, we, are, we have four services. Let's come. Let's meet in the house of God. And may God bless you. Bless you. Amen.